So a story in football that I don't think is told enough is actually how sometimes the best dribblers are quite one-footed. I think it's something to do with as your stride, if you think about my stride of running there, if I'm able to take an outstep touch as I'm running, I can, I can, I can run as fast as I can while still taking that outstep touch. If I'm having to take in-step touches, or both use both feet, it can just kind of mess up my stride. Okay, so what I've noticed is, especially at a younger age, if, they, if players can master dribbling with one foot, it literally sets them apart within the space of two or three weeks. It's amazing how fast you can get results here. Now, of course, the weaker foot is very important. So on court, we have to practice passing, shooting, but let's, for the next few weeks, practice this little drill that I'm gonna set out for you here, and let's see the results. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set down five cones, or if you don't have cones, you can use socks. Four steps, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what we wanna do here is we wanna start with the Shiba touch, okay? Shiba touch and dribble in and out of the cones, only using your strong foot. So obviously here, we're gonna go out step, then we're gonna bring it around in step. Okay, we call these the bollards, get around the bollards. Then we come up to the what I call the hairpin turn. I kind of uh, use the analogy of Formula One here. That's the hairpin turn. I've taken that with my in step that time, but sometimes you can take it with your out step. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna time yourself. See how fast you can do this. And it's only when you get past here with your chest that the timer stops. If, you, if the ball touches a bollard, that's a two second penalty. Also, if you're dribbling, and instead of using your outstep of your strong foot here, you use your instep of your other foot to bring it back around. That's also a two second penalty. So the current world record of Coach Buckley Academy's players running through the Formula One racetrack is eight seconds. See if you can keep going until you can get close to eight seconds. Now he must have practiced Ooh, lightning. 300 times lightning before he speed. got eight seconds. So it's not gonna happen overnight, but keep on practicing, keep on practicing. What's the best time you can do? Okay, just quickly, careful of a pitfall here. The major pitfall with this little uh, dribbling sequence is players go like this. They, they know they're trying to only use their stronger foot, but they're not used to using their outstep. So they'll try a Shiba touch here. And when they come over here, instead of using their outstep to go this way, players who are a little bit more beginner will actually shape their body like this and will push the ball with their instep here. So they're using their instep everywhere they go. Okay, they'll go in step, in step, in step, and they'll actually go in step, in step, in step here. Okay, so we want to discourage that. We really want to encourage Shiba touch, out step where necessary, in step where necessary. Okay, best of luck. Do that a few times a day. I'm telling you, you're going to be a fantastic dribbler.